so there's no telling what Stork's plan is going to be. But carriers could work out very well on this map since the mains are so close together. He could go in, s snipe as many units as he can inside the main, as many uh, production buildings as he possibly can, and then fall back to the main and regroup uh, with his, cor his uh, Corsairs. Carriers there. Let's see if he goes for Corsairs. Disruption web, go Stork! The stork doing a bit of mine clearing outside, and he hasn't thrown down his third base yet, I know. So he's working from two bases going for carriers, a bit ridiculous from him. And he's uh, uh, made the wall a little bit tighter as natural expansion. There's now just a Dragoon-shaped hole at the front for one Dragoon to slip by. So he's going to be able to go out Dragoon by Dragoon outside of his natural expansion as the carriers making their way, going to make their way soon to the main. But Fancy was lucky. He scouted this so early that he should be able to uh, hold it off for now. But this could be part of Stork's plan to get him, to get Fantasy so intent on protecting his main that he forgets to move out, uh, forgets to take down the other basin from Stork, so Stork could take uh, the entire left side of the map while he's running back and forth the carriers. Because at this point, since Fantasy scans so early, it doesn't look like the carriers are going to get a, a lot of damage done. Fantasy doesn't have any Goliaths out yet. I'm kind of surprised. I guess he was building his armory. He's going to get those out soon. Because he knows he needs a uh, ground army to fight off against Storix. Storix works so well with his ground army against Terran. And he's not afraid of tanks at all. He knows just the amount of units he will need to take down any uh, amount of units from a Terran. There's own, almost a nice mind drag, but there is a Zealot bomb there taking out one tank. So Stork probably going to load that shuttle back up with some more Zealots as soon as they stream out into the field. I don't know, like Fantasy trying to hold uh, a nice little defensive grid in the middle of the map so he can work his way towards that contain that he wants. He wants to contain the main. Contain the main! That should be a techno song. Contain the main! Okay, whatever. So Stork is preparing a pincer attack, I think. Oh, gotta be careful with the mines! Uh, he is doing a little bit more mine clearing. Maybe that's why he's moving up with his troops, is trying to get to those mines. Ran into a mine in the meantime, though. But Fantasy does have a nice defensive grid, and I don't think Stork's going to be able to push anytime soon. So <laughs> the Dragoon's streaming out back into the middle of the map, and Fantasy scouted that fleet beacon very early. So I'm surprised that we haven't seen uh, more Goliaths out. In fact, I haven't seen hardly any Goliaths out for Fantasy, so he might be playing a bit too risky. Maybe he's grouping his Goliaths up, making Stork think that maybe uh, he's making Stork think that maybe he didn't scan that. Hmm, I don't see any Goliaths out for him, so maybe I could spring my trap, and at that point maybe he can reveal his Goliaths. I'm not sure. The observers aren't covering all of Fantasy's bases at the moment, so it's a bit hard to tell. Okay, a couple carriers, I think just two for Stork, getting ready to move into that main. Like I said, haven't seen, I don't think I've seen a single Goliath out for Fantasy, which is kind of ridiculous. Fantasy, what are you doing? But he's building turrets all over the place. Obviously, Stork is going to know that he's in the know, seeing this many turrets. But, okay, he's backing off right now. I don't think he even revealed those carriers inside the main. Maybe he saw the turrets, decided to back off for now. But he's coming in with a drop ship with some uh, just some zealots in there to take out these turrets. That's kind of smart. But now Fantasy is transitioning into a Goliath build. I think he might have been a little bit late on that, though, because Stork is going to have uh, quite a hef hefty number of carriers soon. But okay, he's trying to break through this pylon wall into this new base. As Stork, I think that was a cannon there that he was warping in. Uh, so Fantasy will not be able to skirt by that back uh, area to get to that new base from Stork, that third base that he's got going. I think Stork should probably throw down his fourth base soon if he wants to be able to support the carriers as well as his ground army because Fantasy is not going to make that very easy soon enough. Fantasy is going to have a ton of Goliaths out. But like I said, he waited a while to get those out. So I think he was playing a little bit risky, a little bit greedy, saying, I can get out more ground troops. I don't have to focus on this right now. I don't have to focus on my Goliaths at the moment. I can just get out more tanks, more vultures, because I'm so good at vultures. Picking off probes, many probes as he can before the vultures die horrendously. So Stork still grouping out carriers, and he hasn't really made use of those yet. Because he knows that Fantasy is in the know. That okay, he's picking off this uh, scouting barracks that had landed right where Stork wanted to expand. So that's going to be the, the position of his fourth base down at the uh, the island expansion, which is kind of interesting.
So he's going to try to expand at the island and protect it with those carriers. Use the, the carriers mainly for defense, I think. Because Fantasy hasn't pushed out yet. He hasn't felt comfortable with the amount of troops he has out there to do a full push and contain the natural expansion yet. I think he's getting close to that point, though. Stork coming in, picking off his tanks. But he's going to lose every single one of his probes here because he doesn't have any Dragoons by there to protect them. So those uh, probes are probably going to run over to the cannon. I think there was one cannon by the pylon wall close to that base. But now the uh, Dragoons run in to protect that. And uh, Stork decides to build a uh, building there so the Vultures can't run in. He's probably going to cancel that soon enough. Or maybe that is a cannon there warping in. I'm not exactly sure. But okay, it looks like Stork didn't take too many probe casualties at his third base. And he already has his fourth base down. So okay, I think he's going to be okay as far as macro goes. Okay, Fantasy's going to come in with his Goliaths now. Defend this off. And the contain slowly dying from Fantasy. I'm surprised he put his tanks so close to that ridge where they could easily be sniped by the carriers. 